AG Yapani Ali has expressed his frustration after US authorities failed to inform him of its move to seize another 540 million US dollars or 2.3 billion ringgit in assets linked to 1MDB. These include a luxury yacht purchased by Jolo and an 11.72 carat heart-shaped diamond he allegedly gifted to Australian model Miranda Kerr. The filing also mentioned jewellery purchases for the wife of Malaysian official one. The filing has the initials MO1 peppered throughout the documents. It states that the total amount allegedly siphoned from 1MDB now stands at $4.5 billion or about 19.3 billion ringgit. In a statement today, Apandi also dismissed the insinuations made against PM Najib. He points out that at no point in the DOJ's claim is PM Najib named as a defendant or has been alleged to have committed any wrongdoing. Meanwhile, 1MDB says it is neither a party to the suit nor has it been contacted by the DOJ. It adds that this latest suit does not contain any appendices with documentary proof or witness statements to support the DOJ's allegations. Actor Leonardo DiCaprio has surrendered an Oscar won by Marlon Brando to US investigators who are probing alleged money laundering at 1MDB. In a statement, his representative said the Oscar was given to DiCaprio as a set gift by Red Granite to thank him for his work on The Wolf of Wall Street. His representatives say DiCaprio also initiated the return of other items said to be accepted as gifts for a charity auction and which originated from people connected to 1MDB. In the new filing, the US DOJ also moved to seize artwork by Picasso and Basquiat, which it said had been purchased with laundered money and gifted to DiCaprio by associates of Red Granite. It was unclear from DiCaprio's statement whether he had already returned the two paintings as well as a Diane Arbus photograph that was also listed in the filing. Lotte Chemical Titan Holding is returning to Bursa's main board on July 11th with an IPO price of 8 ringgit per share. The listing is slated to be the largest in Malaysia since August 2012. The company aims to raise some 5.9 billion ringgit and achieve a post-listing market cap of 19.7 billion. It plans to use most of its proceeds to fund its expansion in Indonesia. Chairman Abdurrahman Mamat says Lotte Chemical Titan aims to introduce to both the local equity market, a fast-growing company, a strong culture and a strong management team. Lotte Chemical is Malaysia's first standalone producer of olefin and polyolefins. It was established in 1991. A rosy third quarter for Top Glove with net profit jumping 24%. Earnings came in at 77.71 million ringgit, up from 62.46 million ringgit previously. Revenue stood at almost 870 million ringgit, a 29% increase from 672.27 million ringgit last year. The rubber glove manufacturer announced a first interim dividend of 6 cents per share. Despite the impact of sharp increases in raw material prices, the company managed to perform satisfactorily. Top Glove chairman Lim Wee Chai says this is thanks to its focus on internal improvements that have enabled the company to manage costs well. Going forward, the group expects the business environment to remain challenging amid volatile foreign exchange rates, but it is expecting stronger volume growth in the fourth quarter when raw material prices decline. MAHB says seven investors are eyeing to invest in the KLIA Aeropolis. MD Badlisham Ghazali told Bernama that there are seven opportunities to do the final negotiation during the Paris Air Show on Monday. Most of them are European companies and all seven of them are aeronautical players. The size of the investment is unknown, but Badlisham says he's looking at a $100 million deal. He adds that MAHB will promote the KLIA Aeropolis during the event, which is scheduled to be held from Monday till Thursday next week. KLIA Aeropolis was launched last year, centered on key clusters of air cargo and logistics, aviation and aerospace parks, meetings, incentives, conferences, events and leisure. The project sprawls over 100 square kilometers of land and is one of the strategic pillars in MAHB's five-year business plan.